Are you literally told all the time that you use the word literally wrong? And I got some good news for you. The figurative usage of literally has been in English for 300 years, but just a second, because that is not the best part. The next time someone scolds you for this, ask them who you should believe, them or Charles Dickens. That's right, here's a sentence that literally spilled out of Dickens' quill pen. His looks were very haggard, and his limbs and body literally worn to the bone. Is the person correcting you better at English than Dickens? But wait, there's more! Are they cleverer or more grammatically astute than Jane Austen? Or Charlotte Bronte? Or Mark Twain? Three more literary powerhouses, all of whom use literally figuratively in their works. If this doesn't change the mind of the person correcting you, they are not interested in learning, which is pretty rude from someone who's going around correcting others. Oh, one more. Even John Dryden did it, and he was so grammatically strict that he invented out of thin fucking air the fake rule that you can't end a sentence in a preposition. But that's another video. If you enjoy being told that the way you speak English is perfectly fine, come along, because I got more.